Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Inker from XRZ here with a new video for you guys. So in this video, I'll be doing a open and close GUI, something like this. Now, if you were to click this button, as you can see, it opens the GUI. And if you click this button, it will close the GUI. Okay, so I'm going to be making this with, a, um, with some images. Okay, I'll be doing this to open the, the GUI. And I will be doing this to close the GUI. Uh, I'll have the links to these two images in the description. So let's get coding, boys. All right, so enter new screen GUI inside of uh, this thing you call starter GUI. Call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this, let's call this text editor. All right. Let's, um, Insert object, insert a image button to open the thingy majingy. So where the hell is the image button? There we go. You want to upload the image that I have in the description. Go by clicking in properties, click on an image, add image, choose file, then go where you save the image. I saved it in my desktop under art called clicky. Great. Now, as you can see right there, it has created, created a um, GUI over here, a frame in the thingy majingy. So you want to put the background transparency to one. And there is our clickable opening thingy majingy. Okay, let's put that like right on top, like right here. Let's make sure it's good. It's like that. I like it. Let's go explore, please. There we go. Okay. Once that's done, let's call this open name open okay now we want something to open it with so let's do what it opens so let's go with uh, making a frame uh go on a home then go to umbi model ui editor by the way and just make this what you want to open i'm gonna make uh, just like a simple text editor you know something something like hot you know or i don't know i don't give two shits to be honest all right so let's go make back the transparency to 6.5 65 I meant. So let's put this as a nice black uh, border color. Let's make this a nice white. All right. Um, like so. Let's do border as well. Three. Yeah, I don't care to be honest. Um, yeah, and after that, you want to just like insert, uh, insert object, insert whatever you guys want. I'm gonna just add a text box in here you guys don't have to just for the GUI sake and put the background transparency for this as one and then size it correctly and then just give me a second folks yeah it doesn't really matter just go back on the text box just gonna size it up again x skipped all right and then here type what you want okay now, let's make a close button. Uh, let's make it in text editor, insert object, um, image button. Mm, let's do it like that. Let's do thingy over here, properties, uh, add image. Um, click on the thing that I sent you in the description for the closing thing imaging. Does that, create, and like I said, back on transparency to one. Okay, and let's just resize this up a bit. Like, oh my god, I messed up. Hold shift to make it uh, proportional. Like that. Doesn't matter really. I'm gonna just drag it inside of here just to make it look good. Okay, um, image button, let's call this close. And just make sure that, um, what's it called? these are not these two are not inside of this okay um so yeah so let's start coding boys let's just delete the old one okay let's start coding um so let's code the open so insert object is script into the open thing imaging game so uh, let's start doing a function so script that parent which is basically this button dot mouse button one down um yeah down uh oh yeah connect 
function and there's a lot of tutorials out there if you guys don't know what I'm saying right now. It's uh, just a function, simple mouse button, one down click, uh, down, down, not click. Okay, so basically this is saying when the player clicks on this button, what happens? But first, first, let's just go into frame and just make this not visible. All right, and this as well, not visible. Uh, no, okay, gooch, cool. All right, so if these idiots click on the thingy majiggy, script dot parent, which is which is this, and then another parent, which is text editor dot parent dot frame dot visible. You want to see if it's visible equals true. Okay, just copy this again, and now let us now configure the the close button as well. So if we click play, let's click play though. Click play, click on it. As you can see, there's no close button, okay? And we can't close out of this now, but we can just add it in here. But okay, so let's go and code it again. So we just want to copy this again, okay guys, and paste it, and then let me just zoom in for you guys, I'm sorry. And now instead of frame, we want to go to close because that's the button that closes. So if we are to click play, as you can see, it's here. Okay, so let's go back and let's code in the close. All right, so um, just copy this, okay? I'm a lazy programmer, okay? Insert object, just, just, just copy the damn script. <laughs> copy and then paste it into here, into the close. And let's do then script.parent.parent.frame visible equals false. And then false. And then if we were to click play, uh, close out of this. There we go. So as you can see right now, let's just edit it to make it look hot. Okay, I'm sorry. This as I'm just editing the text color. Nothing big. Text scale DS. Um, just go over here. Call code. Okay, now if we're to click play. Yeah, let's do um. Hello, I like pie. Do you like pie? Because I like pie. And there we go. And now if we were to close it like savages, there we have it. So that's it for this tutorial. It's really fast. The model will be in the description. So will the images. Okay, guys. Um, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Comment below if you have questions. If you need any help, you know. And the monkey has left.